Hi everyone, this is Lisa from Canine Clips and this is Tiara and Tiara is a Yorkshire Terrier and she's come in today for her full groom and I'm going to get started on that. We're going to be doing a three quarter inch blade so keep her a little bit longer and fluffier um, but also going to be cleaning up her face. She's a little bit older, she's about 10 years old so I'm going to um, trim her face but she does have some matting because she does eat raw food um, so then she has a little bit of of matting whoops, around her face. So I'm going to trim that and then we'll kind of determine how long her face is going to be from that. So I'm just going to give her a little trim around the face to start. And she's been coming to me for quite a few years. So she's used to this process. So we'll get right in there. She has a little bit of a mat in there, so I'm going to wait till I give her a bath and then that'll kind of loosen up and then I'll be able to get underneath it, but I'm not going to dig it um, right now with the scissors. There's no point in going under that at this point of the grooming. So I'll just go close to it, but I'll worry about getting to it after. Okay, so I'm going to um, give her a little bit of a comb out. there are in there. Just right at the end there's a little bit. So, and just right close to her mouth there's quite a bit. Oh yeah. So right there there's a few. I'm going to cut those out because they're quite thick. And I'll still leave the illusion that her mouth is uh, nice and long. But I'll get those mats out right close to the mouth and then we'll see what we're kind of left with afterwards with another comb out here okay so right there just at the bottom. I'll take that one out as well. And I think we got the majority of them. Okay. And just right around her lips there, she's got some darker fur, so that's from the food, staining it. I'll take that out, just make sure her tongue's safe in there. So I'll just put my finger on there, make sure I'm not going to snip that by accident. Okay, and there we go. So we'll still have a nice longer face as her owner pref prefers. But we still got all those mats out as well. So it's just the illusion that it's nice and long which it is, but underneath there it's really short. So hopefully that'll prevent more mats from occurring as easily as it grows out. There we go. Okay, so we're gonna keep it like that. So it gives a nice rounded face. And I'll just trim around the ears here.
once I get um, the scissors cut around there, I will um, pluck her ears out. And I like to keep the ears a little bit longer, so I'm just going to do a nice little trim on them. really close to the ear so that when I'm plucking I'm making sure I'm only plucking from inside the ear canal because so you don't want to pluck that hair outside of it as it would be painful for the puppy pluck her ears out just with regular tweezers and the hair inside the ear canal is a little bit uh, it's a different type of texture so it does pull out quite easily it doesn't hold in there too badly so it is easy to pluck out but there is sometimes can be quite a bit of hair in there and it does grow quite it does grow quite long That's what the wax sticks to and kind of when it, the hair gets so heavy it'll actually um, go um, back into the ear canal which will irritate the dog. And that's why we're going to get it out of there. If you do enjoy my videos, I'd like you to please subscribe to my channel. I do have lots of videos that I do um, post every day of different grooming of different dogs. So I'd really appreciate it if you'd subscribe to my channel. That'll really help me out. You can also comment and let me know if there's anything specific you'd like to see or something different. I can try to get that on there for you as well. I've also put um, my videos in different um, categories so that if you're looking for something specific you can zone in on that if that um, is something you're looking for. I do show um, all the different dogs I groom and difficult ones and aggressive ones and I don't use any restraints for any of them and I don't do any editing in my videos. What you see is what you get. Here we go. Okay, baby. All right, so that's the main. Hey, thank you. And then we're just going to do her feet here. So I'm going to raise the table up. Because we are doing a longer cut, I'm going to make sure um, I'm just kind of flaring out from the pad. And not going too much up the foot on the other side. But I do want to get all in between the pads nice and clean. Once I get between the toes, now I just kind of layer it backwards. So I'm still trimming it up, but I'm not um, 
going too short because again we are keeping the body a little bit longer. Your nails are a little bit long, but very healthy. Okay, come on. Give me the other foot. Once we're done the feet, I'm going to comb out the tail and trim it a little bit and then uh, get her in the tub.
little bit of mats in it, but not very much. You can see. So it's just nice to get those out before it's all wet. Just going to trim a little bit off because we are keeping her body longer. I'm just going to trim around her face there too. Just to blend it a little better. Since we'll be using a three quarter inch blade, we'll be keeping it nice and long. But Sometimes the three quarter inch blade, it's hard to get in this uh, right around the neck area. So I usually do have to finish with the scissors after. Okay, now it's time for the bath. Just where those eye boogers are, I make sure I make, give her a little extra rub in there. And usually you can pull them out, which I can. So there it is right there. Let's throw that in the garbage. But yeah, so you're able to get in there and then, then after I'm done uh, bathing and blow drying there, I'll be able to use the scissors just to get that extra hair that's probably a little bit longer. But it's always nice to wet the dog's fur. Um, even if uh, you're not giving a bath, it's okay. She doesn't like her bum or tail being touched too much, so um, I will have to check that out later when we're grooming. It's okay. And then you're able to get underneath those little staining of the eyes. are a little bit stiff so I just have to be a little more gentler with that. It's okay. Sometimes in the older dogs you don't know what's annoying them until they let you know. So her legs she doesn't like to be uh, bent too much. I didn't notice that when I was doing the nails so sometimes it shows up with different things. So when you when they let you know you just try to be aware of that. And just work around it. Okay, so put her on the table here. That's okay. 
There you go. Hey there. All right, so I'll get her little towel dried off. The older dogs, they can have a little bit of arthritis or maybe an injury from previous time. This makes the joints a little more stiff. gonna put on her earmuffs. There, so I just wanted to put it back on there. inch blade. And we'll see there's a little bit of matting in there um, and there was some in her shoulder here a little bit but hopefully I'll be able to get that out. Um, just with the clippers and if not I'll just uh, use the scissors a little bit to uh, blend it together so that we can keep the length. This is a nice long length, um, the longest blade that you can use. still leaves quite a bit of length on the dog, um, but it also cleans them up quite nicely. As you can see, still lots comes off. You can see she's a different color underneath, but we'll still be able to keep some of that blonde.
just to be aware of her sore legs and joints, so I'm just going to be careful how I'm lifting them. go down the legs I'm just going to pull the fur out especially with the three quarter inch blade you can do that and I don't have to lift your legs up and I may have to actually um, use the scissors anyways when finishing that because the because um, the blade's so long it's hard especially when they have the, the little short angles in there because she's so small that I would have to use the scissors anyways to kind of trim those angles. So we'll just do that while she's standing nice. Her tail's in there, so I'm going to come back um, to lift her legs and do the inside after. And I'll get all that done at once. All right. Same with the front. Oh, and I was able to get that uh, little mat out there. She wants to lift her leg on this one. Helping me out. Again, I'm going to use the scissors there. There's a little bit of a mat there, so I'll just take that out. So when you're using the three quarter inch blades, you know, a lot of times you will have to kind of combine it with the scissors. Just because the three quarter inch blade with the angles of the legs and stuff. Um, can't get in those little crevices, so you may need to uh, always finish with the scissors. Since she has her leg up, I'm just going to work in this area. As, uh, she likes to hold it up for me, I guess. Okay, good girl. There you go. Okay. Okay. 
Okay, we'll just get the scissors for that front leg as well. Come here. some reason always the, the three quarter inch blade likes to miss right there just right under the shoulders or I guess right at the shoulders on both sides so I'll just kind of scissor that as well okay all right so now I'm gonna work around your bum area actually I just see a little bit on that other foot here on the inside for that photo opportunity. See yourself on the big screen. Okay, you like looking at yourself? Okay, now I'm gonna try to go in that bum area. We'll see if I can get in there. I'm gonna be using the scissors. We're gonna see because she's kind of sensitive to her tail being lifted. It's okay. It's okay. She's holding it quite stiffly, so I'm not gonna pull it up too much. I'm just gonna pull it up as much as I need to get in there without causing her too much discomfort. And some dogs they don't um, like their tails being lifted up, and she is one of them. What I'm going to do, um, I'm just going to go grab a little bit of paper towel and I'm going to dampen it so I can get at that bum area. I don't really want to dig in there with scissors. And then again, I'm going to go real slow so she doesn't like the fast movement. There you go, good girl. There we go. We'll kind of dislodge anything that's in there. And her bum is a little bit red. Now I can kind of get in there a little bit better. Let she let me lift it. I don't want to pull it too much up. Yeah, good girl. Okay. Now lift her leg slowly just because I know these areas are a little more sensitive, so we're gonna go nice and slow. Um, what I'm gonna do under here is I'm gonna use a number 10 because I really don't wanna use scissors in there. And we'll just kinda clean it up nice and close. Okay, come here, baby. And again, so when you're working with an older dog, you do slow motions. When they're a little bit younger, you have a little more flexibility with the dog, and they don't mind, but since she didn't like in the tub, you know, I know that there's some soreness or discomfort somewhere, so. Okay, come here, we go. A little area that I can trim with the scissors. Come here. It's okay. I'm just actually going to shift her tail. It's just right there. I want to get. There we go. And I think I got it. So we're going to leave that like that. And 
what I'm going to do now is I'm going to uh, give her another quick blow dry. And uh, that'll kind of fluff up everything, so I can see under here. And then it'll kind of let me know um, what I didn't uh, get. And I'll probably just finish up with the scissors. I'm not going to use the three-quarter inch blade again, um, unless I obviously need to. But usually I just use the clippers or the scissors. So just uh, get her all cleaned up again. Here, put this on again. <laughs> She's not a big fan of this. There we go. So now I'll be able to check over and see what I missed. As you can see, the top of the head there a little bit. A little bit longer. So right now we're just kind of blending the pieces that may have gotten missed. There's a little flyaways. pretty much got her covered so maybe a little bit in here okay. okay I think we got her all covered here Once in a while, I'll see a little fly away, so it's always nice to try to fluff it all up. Let's see how it's going to go. You're never going to get a dog perfect on a groom because their hair is, has so many different ways it can fall and lay, but you always try to do your best. Even when I groom my dog, I'm always nitpicking after things that I missed. But as long as your dog can see is comfortable, those are the main goals. And of course they look cute. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Like I said before, if you are interested um, in these videos, please subscribe to my channel and uh, share and uh, keep watching and just let me know if you'd like to see something different. Alright, so there we go. So there's our baby. There's Tiara. So I just wanted to give you a little finished cut there of Tiara. <laughs> of a three quarter inch blade followed with the scissors at the end. So thanks for taking the time to watch and um, please subscribe as I mentioned again and uh, um, hope you enjoyed it and uh, thanks for watching and hope you have a good day. Bye-bye.